So I just got Maya um, last year, and her owner always said that I would never be able to tame the sweet itch, no matter what, this mare's gonna rub her tail. And then Code Defense came into our lives, and as you can tell, Maya has not been rubbing her tail all spring and summer. So what I've been doing with her once a day is I'll grab my Code Defense powder, and I'll take her tail and give her a nice sprinkle. That's all it takes. She doesn't rub her tail. Then usually, I just rub it in just so she doesn't look like a zebra. This is Linnea. She's one of our yearlings here. Being a chestnut, she suffers from getting a lot of bug bites on her chest. Um, and I'm going to show you how I use coat defense to help her with her itching. So what I do is I take a nice, big, thorough glob, and I take it and I rub it all over her chest. You'll see as I'm doing it, she loves it. She leans into it. She begs for this stuff. So Nellie got some hives, so we're gonna use our coat defense to reduce her itching. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it in my hand and spread it over her hives. As you can tell, she stopped moving because it feels good. This is Philippa, she's one of our jumping horses. She gets the bug bites in between her cheekbones. Um, so what I do is I take a nice big heap of the, the paste and I rub it in between her cheeks and that helps her battle her summer itchies. Good afternoon from Windridge Farm in Campbellsburg, Kentucky. I'm Jerry Matheny and this is Midnight Jubilee. Jubilee is an elderly school horse we have here. We've had her for 10 years and every single year she has plagued with Swedish. See it just starting here on her chest. You can see the scarring that it has caused between her front legs as well as all along her abdomen here. And she will also rub her tail raw eventually. We're just starting with it this spring. I have tried everything under the sun over-the-counter, home remedies, everything we can for Jubilee's sweet itch. Nothing works until now. So let me introduce you to your new best friend. This is Coat Defense. With one application of the paste on Jubilee's abdomen, spotted on her chest and on the dock of her tail, one application and she stopped rubbing altogether. Jubilee will actually sit like a dog to rub her stomach raw to the point that we have blood. This is Luna, and we're going to be applying our Coat Defense daily powder for her because she's so allergic to fly bites. She swells up like a, a big old balloon on every bite, and applying this every day creates a barrier on her skin that alleviates the itching and the sensitivity to the bites and the allergic reaction. So I don't go a day without it because she just gets allergic so bad. And this is minimal. I mean, she's got a little bit of bumps going on today and this is nothing compared to what usually happens to her. Get this right down into the skin. I put a heavy coat on because she's just so allergic. Here's Luna, she's all powdered up. So if, when the bugs and, and flies bite her, which is inevitable because there's no surefire way to keep, keep this from happening, yeah, we can minimize it, but it does happen. And at least when they, if they get to her, she, her skin is protected and she doesn't have as much of an allergic reaction. So this is a super minimal allergic reaction for her because I keep the Coat Defense Daily Powder on her. She usually gets huge, huge swollen welts the size of half golf balls all over her body from every fly bite that, that gets her and every bite, bug bite, you name it. She's a... Uh, a mess when it comes to that. So I just powder her up every day down to the skin and soothe her skin. It's the only thing that soothes her skin because she is just super sensitive and allergic to fly bites and bugs. 
And she thanks me for it, I'm sure. <laughs>